Thank you, please. Welcome to Montenegro. Thank you. On my behalf. <laughs> Just perfect. One of the best meetings we ever had. Oh, well. the uh, conference so far we received such a such a project and uh, encourage us to continue investing into Turkey because uh, 30 years ago there was uh, more or less similar kind of event nearby. Who know important tourism destinations throughout the world by virtue of your business will object me being biased. But I'm certain that we all agree that Montenegro is one of the rare destinations in the world that offers such diversity in a small area. Combination of this diversity makes Montenegro a society and country of harmony, a meeting point of different civilizations at the crossroads of cultures and religions. This is a place of mutual understanding of our people who are willing to protect the area that the nature enhanced with so many contrasts as something sacred and to share it with others at the same time. I believe that during your stay in Montenegro you will have an opportunity to see, hear, touch and taste what we have to offer and that you will feel the magic of this place of resistible attraction. Tourism represents one of the key sectors in which Montenegro identifies its huge potential and numerous economic opportunities. Not only because of the direct investments in the tourism infrastructure in Montenegro, but also due to the effects that spill over to the overall economy through the tourism value chain, encouraging growth and development in a whole set of fields that represent the basis of a quality tourism product, primarily in agriculture, fishery, production of organic food, and so on. Besides, tourism has numerous dynamic effects. It affects the living strategy of the local population, the business climate for small and medium-sized companies, fundaments or infrastructure. Through tourism, we are also strengthening the economic position of youth, also women in Montenegro, by employing a significant number of managers and tourism workers from their own towns. We should not forget the local craft works traditionally produced by women, which also represent an integral part of our tourism offer. In the past 10 years or so, the government has invested over 1 billion euro in infrastructure at the local and state level, which is also important as an incentive for, for tourism development, such as roads, water supply net networks, electricity distribution networks, solid waste, wastewater processing plants, airport modernization, national parks. We have done it all with the aim to make our tourism supply side more competitive, aware of its importance for further growth and long-term sustainability of the Montenegrin economy. Global trends show that rational and efficient use of national, na natural resources represents a prerequisite for economic growth. Thus, the concept of all our strategies is based on the principles of sustainable development including the Tourism Development Strategy until 2020, which we have developed in cooperation with the German Investment Agency, DEG. We have an ambitious agenda for the future, to make Montenegro a tourist destination with an integrated hinterland that is attractive throughout the whole year. We also have significant tourism investments for the future, through which we plan to valorize some of the most beautiful places in Montenegro. An exceptional advantage is the fact that the most significant resources in Montenegro are still intact. But this points out an even greater responsibility on our shoulders to protect them in the process of their valorization. Ladies and gentlemen, we have many reasons to be proud, so much to share with you and show to the world. Your decision to choose Montenegro for your annual gathering represents a special recognition to us. As it acknowledges our country, as a well-established tourism destination. Besides, this conference represents another connection that adds to the quality of the traditionally good relations between Montenegro and Germany, which makes me very pleased. During the three-day conference, through speeches, workshops, presentations of Montenegro's potential and our future plans, you have had an opportunity to look into the possibilities for even closer partnerships that I'm certain we will witness many we will witness many of in the near future. Thank you very much. Much. Vielen Dank.